Good morning. People often ask me, what do I need to grill with with the PK grill? And so here uh, I'm just showing you all the items that uh, I use for the PK grill. I have a trusty rag. On this side I have my, my scrubber for the, for the grill. Uh, here I have an extra grill piece that fits on top of the grill. So it gives, you, gives me two layers of, of grilling and smoking. I have my bottle of Pam. I also have an extra coal plate that I use uh, depending upon what I'm grilling. I have tongs and I have my chimney starter for my briquettes that I use. You can use lump coal or briquettes, but I prefer uh, briquettes because of the flavor. Also, what I have is a briquette basket that uh, looks like a large strainer and uh, it captures the uh, briquettes nicely, uh, the ash. And I also use a drip pan on the side uh, for the indirect cooking. And uh, this briquette basket can be interchanged depending upon what I'm cooking with this uh, converted pizza pan. And there you go, I put the briquettes right on top of here. Um, and it allows for me to have a larger cooking space without actually having the briquettes uh, touch the wall. Also, when I'm done uh, grilling, I use a scrub brush and scrub all the pieces away. Uh, and then when I'm all done, I take the bottle of Pam that I have and uh, I spray the, the grill just to keep the rust away. Um, and that's how I minimize ash or, or oil or you know fat from pork or chicken from um, hitting the bottom of the uh, PK grill. And sometimes you read about or hear about complaints about people just putting, of course, the coals directly right on the grill. And if you do that, you're going to get a lot of buildup at the bottom. But if you try this method of using uh, either like this converted pizza pan that's aerated or you use this uh, charcoal basket, you'll find that the cleanup is much easier. Um, and you just lift it up the basket and, uh, and you dump the coals away. You'll still get some um, drippings or, or ash at the bottom. And uh, I think that's just part of uh, grilling. Of course, you could always use uh, lump coal, uh, which burns differently and has a different flavor and produces less ash. And that's another way of how to minimize your uh, uh, mess when it comes to maintaining and cleaning your PK grill. So uh, that's how I do it.